explore the adventures of Grubbo Grub. Today we'll be reading the first book in the Grubbo Grub series called Digging Up Trouble, written and illustrated by Douglas Armstrong. Grubbo the Grub loved collecting treasure, but he didn't like to share. When Grubbo saw Grubby, another grub, and Wormo the Worm playing with his treasure, he got very upset. Please don't play with my treasure. I dug those things up. You need to dig up your own, said Grubbo, taking his treasure away from Grubby and Wormo and hurting their feelings. To Grubbo's surprise, the treasure he was holding, a speckled egg, cracked wide open and out came an angry Worminoid. With a hiss, the Worminoid leapt from Grubbo's hands and into the soft dirt below. That's what you get for being so selfish, laughed Wormo and Grubby. Suddenly, the Worminoid returned, bursting from the ground with a mighty leap. He was hungry and very... Grubby followed the Worminoid down the hole to get his treasure back. He grabbed his glow shovel and headed down into the dark, scary hole, using its brightness to fend off any worms, bugs, or even worse, spiders. Grubbo found the Wormanoid Blair, and to his surprise, he discovered that there was much more than before. The large, mutated worms were getting bigger and eating his treasure. Crunch! All right, you bad worms, drop my stuff and get lost, or I will be forced to drive you away with my powerful blinding glow shovel, warned Grubbo. Crunch, crunch, crunch. With a chomp and a gulp, the bad woman ate Grubbo and the treasure all before he could escape. Oh, poor Grubbo. Then the bad wormanoid tunneled his way up towards Grubbyland in search of even more treasure. Followed by the wormanoid, Grubbo began to worry he would never see his friends again. If by some miracle I escape this worm's belly, I promise to share my treasure with all my friends.